Assalamu alaikum doctors. Today our topic of discussion is all around the local anesthetics. So basically in this lecture we will be like more focusing upon the definition, classification and mechanism of action of the local anesthetics. So without any wasting of time let's talk about local anesthetics. Now if we see the definition of local anesthetics, so what is the definition of local anesthetics? Basically local anesthetics are the weak bases that block the nerve conduction and cause reversible loss of sensation in the part supplied by a nerve. So I'll repeat it once again, rather I should write it. So what are the local anesthetics? Local anesthetics, local anesthetics are the weak bases that block nerve conduction and cause reversible loss of sensation in the part supplied by a nerve by a nerve so it is worth noting what is the definition of local anesthetics. So local anesthetics are the weak bases that block the nerve conduction and cause the reversible loss of sensation and the part supplied by a nerve. So the important point is that local anesthetics are the weak bases. So as the local anesthetics are weak bases, so it means that it is always in search of protons. Like it tend to bind with the protons in order to get protonated. So this is very important. Now if we see the parts of the local anesthetics, so there are three parts of the local anesthetics. So out of three parts, we are having a hydrophilic portion. We, are, we have a lipophilic portion that is benzene ring and in between there will be born in the form of esters or amide. So once again I will repeat it. So local anesthetic contain the hydrophilic portion and lipophilic portion or we can say non-hydrophilic portion. In between the hydrophilic and lipophilic portion there will be a bond in the form of esters and amides. So this is important points regarding with the local anesthetic and you have a sound knowledge of this. Now let's talk about the classification. Now, so what is the classification of the local anesthetics if we're talking about the classification of the local anesthetics. Local anesthetics is being classified into two groups that is, that is Easter's and amide, amides and the esters and all the drugs that are coming under the class of ester of the local anesthetics there will be one eye and, and amides contain two eye all the drugs that come that are coming under the class of amides there will be two eye now if we see esters of local anesthetics there are there we have a trick for it that is cat so we are C stand for cocaine, C stand for cocaine, C for amitocaine, and T stand for tyrocaine. Now, what are the drugs that are coming under the class of esters of the local anesthetic? There will be a lot of drugs, but but in order to recall, for that we having we are having a cocaine amitocaine and tyrocaine. Now if we talking about the amides of the local anesthetic, so for that we have a trick that is PM bill. PM bill. So we are P stand for prilocaine, N stand for mepivacaine, B stand for bupivacaine, E stand for ET Duquesne and L stand for Lignocaine. 
So it is worth noting the local anesthetics broadly classified into esters and amides. In the class of esters, we have a cocaine, amitocaine, and tyrocaine. In the class of amides, we have a prilocaine, mepivacaine, bupivacaine, etudocaine, and lignocaine. And the all drug that are coming under the class of amide there will be two i that is being shown over here and in the class of easter we have a single i so that's all about the classification of the local anesthetics now if we move toward the mechanism of action of the local anesthetics so which is very important now if we if we talking about the mechanism of the local anesthetics so pay attention students, the most important point is that all the unionized form of the drugs, it can cross the cell membrane or neuronal cell membrane, but all those drugs that is being an ionized form, it do not penetrate the neuronal cell membrane. It is very important point, Please pay attention to this point, I'll repeat it once again. All those drugs that are in unionized form, it can cross the neuronal cell membrane, but all those drugs that are in ionized form, it do not penetrate into the neuronal cell membrane. This is very important. Now let's talk about let's talk about the neuronal cell. Like if you say, if you say this is a neuronal cell. This is a neuronal cell. Now in the neuronal cell membrane, like the, there will be there will be lipid bilayer. Like let's suppose this is a lipid bilayer. This is a lipid bilayer. This is a neuronal cell. Now the important point is that local anesthetics as we discussed earlier that local anesthetics are weak base like if this local anesthetic is a weak base so it tend to attach with protons like it tend to bind with the proton and then it get proteinated. Already we said that all those drugs that are unionized it can penetrate through neuronal cell membrane and all those drugs that are ionized form it do not penetrate into the neuronal cell membrane now let's suppose this is a lipid bilayer of the neuronal cell membrane now if in between this lipid bilayer we are having a specialized type of channels that is being present in the lipid bilayer so what are these specialized type of channels yes please what are these specialized type of channel these specialized type of channel that is yes please voltage gated sodium channels now just pay attention as we discussed that unionized form of the local anesthetics it can penetrate this neuronal cell membrane now what happens that this lo local anesthetic that is being an unionized form it get cross through this neuronal cell membrane and eventually it come into the cell. Now this is very important that and if we say the intracellular compartment of the cell of the neuronal cell so if we talk about the physiological pH of this intracellular compartment that is 7.2 like if we, like we can say that it is more acidic. As local anesthetics are weak bases it is always in search of acid are protons now what happens soon as when it cross when it, this unionized form of the local anesthetics it cross the lipid bilayer and eventually when it comes into the cell it tend to bind with the protons it tend to bind with the protons now what happens soon as when it get bind to the protons it get proteinated what happens it get proteinated now this proteinated form of local anesthetics it will come this form of local anesthetic that is being proteinated it will come and it will attach to this channels and these channels are voltage gated sodium channels now what happens when this proteinated form of local anesthetics it get attached with these voltage gated sodium channels so what happens that it block these channels what happens that these sodium channel 
is no more working and it get blocked when it get blocked so what happens that all the sodium that were coming into the cell now is they are not able to coming into the intracellular compartment of the cell or we can say there will be no influx of sodium so whenever there is no influx of the sodium it means there will be more positive charges outside of the cell as compared to the inside of the cell so there will be more positive charges outside of the cell there will be more negative charges relatively inside of the cell we can say there will be depolarization so upon the blocking of this sodium channels sodium influx will be stop or we can say minimal so there will be no depolarization occur if there is no depolarization occur so there will be no action potential and there will be numbness in that particular area so there will be local anesthesia and that particular area will happen will occur so this is this is the general mechanism of the local anesthetics it is worth noting it is very important so i'll repeat it once again so local anesthetics are weak bases so the, like this is local anesthetics so if it is weak bases it is always in search of protons now important point is that all the drug that is being in unionized form it tend to cross the neuronal cell membrane but all those drugs that are in ionized form it do not penetrate the neuronal cell membrane now what happens the unionized form of neuronal uh, this unionized form of local anesthetics it will cross this lipid bilayer and eventually it will come into the intracellular compartment soon as when it come into the intracellular compartment it will get bind with the protons and it get protonated once it get protonated it get it 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 try it will try to bind with the voltage gated sodium channels as it get bind with the voltage gated sodium channel it will block the voltage gated sodium channels and there will be no influx of the sodium there will be no depolarization there will be no action potential and eventually we can say that there will be low anesthesia occur in that particular area and over the, that particular area there will be numbness occur so student this is all about the local anesthetics i hope so you like the video if you like the video make sure to subscribe our channel and share it with your friends thank you